representing Manchester 80 Kosovo with my colleagues. I'd like to thank Coots and the funding network, first of all, for inviting us here. Manchester 80 Kosovo formed in 1999 as a crisis aid response. It was actually formed in a pub here in Manchester, in Erdston. Five friends were watching television and they saw the enforced exodus from Kosovo. Our charity has evolved and grown, though, over the last 11 years. I turned up with clothes and blankets in 99, as probably many of you did. Uh, I never left. Our current chair is a Manchester paramedic, is in the ambulance service here, and was part of our uh, original convoy to the camps. After delivering 1,000 tonnes of humanitarian aid in our first year, MAC changed. The charity evolved into a very different kind of organisation. It developed many diverse projects through a network of over 80 volunteers with diverse skills, many returning time and time again, some 30 or 40 times. MAC has minimal overheads, we're all volunteers. We raise our own costs. We now have a small paid staff in Kosovo and six key partner organisations, including the municipality of Budjevo, Eden Project, and the Imperial War Museum North. Tonight we're asking for something incredibly important to us, help with materials for a simple MAC building and community centre in Podieva, Kosovo. We need builders as well, actually, volunteers, <laughs> so that we can provide a base for six groups we work with. Our work does need to be sustainable, a place to think, a place to meet, plan, coordinate, office and storage, a place to train, a place where strangers can be drawn together and bridges built. Since 1999, MAC has shown an ongoing commitment to the people of Kosovo. We also hope the community centre will enable us to do that for many years, and it will be a symbol of this intention. Post-crisis aid in 1999-2000, MAC embarked on its next, next chapter of supporting recovery. Kosovars were evacuated to Manchester. Many people brought here were in very great medical need. One of these was Saranda. On March 28, 1999, Saranda was left for dead in the massacre of her family in a walled garden in Podiova. A Serbian military unit herded 19 women and children together and machine gunned all of them. Saranda, then aged 13, and four of her younger cousins clung to life. Three months later, the children were found by the liberating British Army and medically evacuated to Manchester hospitals. Lou Harris, who became their head teacher, who's here tonight as a MAC trustee, was involved from the very early days. The five children went on to give evidence against those who had perpetrated the crime and were recognised by the Anne Frank Trust for their moral courage. Eleven years old, Sarand is now a fine art graduate. She's working on art projects, both here and in Kosovo, going down the curating route, actually. And Sarand is going to take you on Mac's journey, which is also her own. Evening. Uh, when Kosovo refugees uh, were brought to Lebanon and uh, they took the children to um, uh, the parks, uh, it was safe um, and enjoyable. Uh, my four cousins and I um, asked Manchester Aid to Kosovo to build uh, a peace park in my hometown in uh, Podujeva where um, families there could enjoy uh, peace and um, have, uh, have safety uh, just like we felt here in Manchester. Uh, the 22-acre Manchester Peace Park, designed with the Eden Project, uh, is important for the recovery of my community. Um, it is a, a place for remembrance, a place where children can play safely, where uh, um, the elderly um, can spend um, their time. Um, my grandmother used to, uh, to have a, be a beautiful garden and there was a, um, a plant um, and in the, the peace garden uh, in the park, I can remember her uh, by its end. After 11 years, MAC is trusted in the region. One of our only, we are actually one of the only NGOs involved in Kosovo who were there in 1999. There's still so much to be done and Kosovo sadly remains the poorest country in Europe. Now MAC's involved not only in the park, but also justice and human rights education, art, culture and music, ecology, sport. Our approach is to strengthen and resource people, particularly <coughs> young leaders. Over the years, 
these uh, markers normally put together to for the recovery, uh, but we have uh, never had a proper uh, meeting place. Um, Natasha Kandich, uh, a human, 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 sorry, humanitarian, humanitarian lawyer who uh, presented um, my family on two trials in Belgrade, uh, where five uh, men who did the shooting of the family uh, were sentenced. Um, and this was one of the, uh, the meeting um, we had in, in Kosovo. It was the 10 year anniversary of the massacre, and uh, Mac invited Natasha for a dedication of the Peace Park. And uh, we had to meet in a restaurant because we didn't have a, a place. This year, 6,000 was allocated for our new IT project. Would you like to come up with one briefly? One of our volunteers is Morella Canadian doing research at Oxford. She's going to illustrate briefly just how far the 6,000 stretched in one of the six areas we work in, education. <laughs> 